Hello, YouTubers! I don't have any fancy names for you today, but welcome back to Let's Play Secret of the Silver Blades with me, Blue Inkilo. So, um, it's been a little bit, I had a break in between sessions and all that, and we are back in the final area, final dungeon, I believe it's called the Castle, or perhaps the Dreadlord's Fortress or Dreadlord's Castle, something along those lines. And we are, I think we've basically finished the first floor and we can either go up or down. I think I decided to go downwards. I also figured out uh, as I was returning here how these, um, or what those switches do in the game. Uh, so like there's 10 of these sort of one uh, alcove that you can um, sort of get teleported through. And the way it works uh, is you can't go back until you found the switch for that area. So there's going to be 10 of them. I thought the switches were going to unlock something together, like you need to do all 10 to, to unlock a door. Uh, it turns out when you reload a game it resets them and um, I would never have been able to leave one of those areas until I found um, the lever. So you click the lever and then now you're allowed to leave if you want. Uh, or stay if you feel like it. So um, yeah, that's just how that works, I figured I'd clarify that and let us go down. Yeah, I figured we'll go to the dungeons first or whatever they are and we'll work our way up the castle later because you know standard like old school RPG logic I assume the boss is at the top of the castle and the dungeons may just have some treasure or some extra fights or something you see stairs going up to the south now this map is fully completed which is odd oh is this this must be somewhere we've been where are we Unfortunately, like, the area mode doesn't even work here, and I can't... Well, this has got to be, like, the dungeon or something. And I bet you this was one of those doorways that was covered in ice earlier, and we couldn't get through. In fact, I think I remember where we are now. I believe the western side here... We'll just take a short detour, because I'm pretty sure I recognize this area. I think we fought some worms here. And then this took us to the ice. So this is like the western crevasses, very beginning of that. And uh, it appears that the ice that blocked us previously is probably melted now. Well, assumedly. So this is another sort of shortcut. And even better, this means it's another area that I don't have to worry about going back to. So consider that a, a completed section of the, of the map. Oh, and it also leaving the area apparently resets the switches as well, so that's fine. Every time you reload this area, I guess you have to redo the switchy, switchy switchies. Okay, well I can handle that. Uh, okay. So, how did I get to that top right area? Do you guys remember? I know there was like a teleporter type thing that got me there. I just don't remember which room it was. I don't... No, it was... Like, maybe one of the third tiers? This is... One more west and south was where the teleporter was that took us back to the uh, well. Um, I'm gonna try this one. I have a good feeling about this one. Scent of Evil. Yeah, this might have been the right one, you know? I'm gonna have to press this if I want to go back later, but... I think there was like a doorway I went through that teleport. I wish I'd, I, I thought I was knew where I was going when I started this episode, but uh, turns out that was just backtracking. Um, well, one of these will be it. I just forgot. So maybe this one looks a little funny. I'm sure it's not one of the first two. Oh, these are back. Well, you get respawning. Um, trap disarming experience the thing is uh, we were I think we worked out we we're only getting like a couple hundred XP per use so it's not really gonna do us any much good oops <laughs> wrong person well I only take a couple damage could be a lot worse huh I thought Well, this was obviously not the right one. I'm sorry, guys. Fa feel free to fast forward a few seconds till you f till I find the right area. Maybe this was the one. The lar the room you've entered has lawn. Ha oh, the meat. This is like the. Uh, this is probably not it. 
So where was that teleporter to the top right of the area? There's the lever. Oh, we did find it. Okay, good. So it was in like the meat locker. The bottom, central bottom area is the one that takes us up to the next floor. Okay, good enough. Let's continue. So now for the new area. You hear a voice say, your puny skills are no match for mine. Flee while you can. Well, we laugh at him. It's pathetic taunts. More traps. I assume by remove they mean disarm it. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> the ceiling collapses. You all die. Well, that that was a bad. That was bad. Serious. You were supposed to disarm that trap, and you didn't do it. Oh, good. And then some more frozen Medusa wake up. I hate these fights. Just because they can one-shot you, turn you to stone, and that's not very nice. Alright, well, let's start killing them. Or, or perhaps magic. I should have recovered all my spells in between episodes, so we've got quite a few. I could try a uh, Cone of Cold. Might be a good spot for it. If I aim it... Oh, there's, oh, there's a lot of Basilis. Let's just try to aim it, like... Just this way in general, that should be okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. What if I move... That's not where I meant to move, actually. Oops. Press the wrong button. Um... My, like, my problem here is that there's just too many of them. I'm gonna have to use something because, like... Someone's gonna get turned to stone. Yep, uh, I mean, I, uh, I sort of called it, but there's not much I could have done about it. I messed up on my personal spell casting, so I wasn't... I accidentally attacked when I should have cast Fireball, and then Pixel took too long to cast Fireball. I mean, these, these things go down quickly, it's just... All they need, they can just, as far as I can tell, they can just continually cast, um, Gaze or whatever it's called, and, uh, oh, that guy's way out of the way, that's annoying. Actually, I wonder if I can, yeah, I can actually fix, uh, Pixel here. Ah, <sighs> Stone to Flesh, okay. Well, at least he's alive again, and Christina, use one of our heal spells. This is the problem with those stone effects, is it's... It takes two charges of a high level spell to recover. Actually, okay, you know what we'll do? Shinga, I know, has a um, silver shield. And so does Vala. So we'll just send those two. And uh, I'm sure there'll be enough to deal with one Basilisk. And they'll be immune to his uh, shenanigans. I guess I could heal myself a little bit. I mean, I'm probably okay. Oh, I do have uh, Delayed Blast Fireball. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that one. I, uh... I don't think I've explained how good it is yet, but I'll, I'll want to try that via demonstration. Alright, a little bit of XP, really nothing amazing. Just a couple thousand is not enough. Compared to, like, uh, how much XP we need for levels up, that's, that's nothing. Okay... I do love this song. Let me turn it up just a little bit. I think it looks like it's a little bit quiet on you for you guys. Just a smidge. Alright. Hopefully that doesn't drown out my voice, but actually... Sorry for the mic bump, but I was looking at my recording software and... My microphone is something... Sorry guys. Something is wrong. If my voice has been sounding odd the last nine minutes... Trying to nail nail it down. Yep, Windows did it again. Every now and then, and it's very sporadic. Every now and then, Windows. Well, now my mic looks normal, and I'm gonna have to turn things up a little bit. Um, I still don't know why. I've been trying to figure this out for a long time, but the Windows recording uh, drivers or something rather, they actually change my internal microphone levels from 50%, which is what I leave it to. To just 100% every now and then, and it's not 
I'm like I've seen things like Skype use it, and I'm not running Skype these days, and I don't want to bore you with all the details, but uh, sorry, my voice probably was a bit crackly hitting the high end of the uh, software. Now it should sound probably normal, um, and then hopefully the balance with the the music audio will be a little bit better now. It's kind of a quiet song. It'll be hard for you guys to hear it right now at all because it's very very quiet. But we'll see how it goes. Anyway, back to the game. Hopefully I fixed my mic problem before it was a terrible disaster. If I was really professional, I suppose I could have restarted the video, but, uh, you know. Alright, several storm giants awake and turn to face the party. The leader holds up a hand and asks for parlay. Well, we know these guys are worth a lot of experience. <laughs> but, uh, sure, we'll talk. You converse briefly with the giant leader and tell him of your struggle to defeat the Dreadlord. The giant leader responds... We have no quarrel with you. We can sell you a map through the maze. I don't think we have any money, actually. <laughs> we generally deposit all of our money um, in the bank before we get venture. Um, sure, let's see what he's... It's probably just going to be... A, you know... Okay, I, I know what this is going to be. This is going to be a journal entry with a map in it that is either complete or incomplete, it doesn't really matter, but I don't want to look at it in the journal right now, I just want to continue on, and I'd rather just move along. It might have been a trap anyway, remember we've, we've been given scrolls before that just exploded on us, and um, I feel like it's probably worth my time better to just kill these things. The Bloodlust. Now I can see a good opportunity here. They're probably strong to, um, Lightning, seeing as they can cast lightning, but they shouldn't be strong against ice. Three, four, five, six. So, a lightning bolt, I believe, can hit four tiles at a weakest roll, up to eight tiles. So, if you we were lucky, a lightning bolt could have hit them all for about the same kind of damage. But uh, that was a good cone, actually. That was that's kind of. The kind of the stuff I need to see to, to, to keep using it, basically. And now that I'm at a higher level, actually, because my mage level for blue is a bit higher, I might be able to shoot this a little bit further, even. Okay, I want to target... Like, I don't want to target this square, because it might spread to hit pixel. I'm going to target, like, this way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, see... I'm pretty sure that's just the range, so like, I'm a higher level mage than Sarius by one, probably. And uh, that gave me enough, like, sort of range on my cone to hit all the way to the Storm Giant. Now, it obviously doesn't spread sideways very far as the level's going up, like... You know, wherever the center of the cone was as it kind of diagonally went through these guys. I assume it was hitting, like, their torso around here, and then switching to their legs around here as it was... If you follow a straight line from from my body over to this guy's foot. Uh, but if that's the center of the cone, how did it never hit, like, Shinger Pixel? It, like, it obviously is a very, like, narrow cone, so... I mean, I think that's probably the problem, is maybe we should just start looking at Cone of Cold, like, essentially a lightning bolt that spreads out just a teeny tiny little bit. I'm worried that some of them are gonna use some lightning bolts, but, uh... Apparently they don't use a lot of lightning, so we see more. I'm also trying oops, to not put my people in a direct line that the enemy can take advantage of. I know my people were in a line, but the frost or the storm giants wouldn't have been able they, they wouldn't be smart enough to move up and take advantage of that. So at most they could have hit like one or two people. With bad luck it would have bounced and hit the same person twice, but anyway, that's almost a level up for Pixel, so that was that was fun. And, <laughs> and you discover two maps in the giant's belongings. You copy one and you record it as a journal entry through <laughs> Ah, we win everything. We get the experience, we didn't take any damage, and we still got the map. <laughs> Alright, I'll show you the map. I was, I was kind of trying to avoid this to save some time, but... <laughs> uh, 36. It's not even a very good map. Look at this. Map purchased or stolen from the storm giants. Um, I think this is part of 37. So 36 is just the map, and 
looking at like what we've I, 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 you can't see it right now, but I can see the map on the side. I don't know if this lines up to anything we've seen yet. Nor do I expect it really will. So, it would have been a waste of money. You try to figure out where on the map we are. Or have been. I don't, I don't know. You want to look one more time? There you go, guys. Try to figure out where in this area lines up to where we've already been. I don't see anything that works. Maybe we'll figure that out eventually, but... I trust my own mapping better than uh, that giant map. It's probably a trap anyway. Oh, you copied the other one recorded as journal entry 66. Wow, we got two maps for the price of one. The price of none. Alright, 66. Map retrieved from Storm Giant's leader's pouch. Um, again, I don't really recognize any of this, but at least it shows us like an illusionary wall that probably has some, well, has some stairs behind it. I was hoping for treasure. All right, well, I'll keep my eyes open for an illusionary wall and uh, we'll keep exploring the old fashioned way. I'm pretty sure we would have been able to find it on our own, but we'll see. Okay, well, the last time we tried to remove it, it didn't work at all. Maybe set it off from safety? I don't know. A volley that's not from safety. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, that, that definitely stung. All right, well, let's try... just want to mark on the map that there's a hallway there. I don't know if it's safe here or not, but let's try a fix. Good. I'm quite happy with that, actually. We're taking a lot of damage from these traps. <laughs> Many ballista bolts lie on the floor, covered in blood. <laughs> we just rested for a little while, and now we're fine. Oh, good. Well, at least we have the fixed command to save time to heal up quickly. Um... Okay, I don't know how you would know that that was a... You know, I think even if I didn't have the auto map show me the door sign for this area, I would have tried to get into this inner circle or inner inner 3x3 room uh, on my own. It just would have... I would have had to push against all the walls. Anyway, this room is swarming with cockatrices and basilisks, which is not really what I like. Um, limitless is a bit of an exaggeration. I'm going to guess that there's like six basilisks and about ten cockatrices. <laughs> you know, it's no exaggeration here. The problem is, again, all of these things can turn you to stone. Um, I can't really get... I can't really move safely to a position up here to try a lightning bolt or a cone again like I could on the last time. Uh, because every step from here to here and here to here and here to here and so on, I would uh, I would get a back attack. And if I got hit even once, it would interrupt my spells so, or disable my ability to cast. So if that's not possible, um, if I targeted a fireball down here... I mean, I could hit all these, I guess. I guess it's better than nothing. I'll just use a normal one. I'll save the delayed for something. One day. It's, you know, I only got one, so I'll save it for something. I think if I cast it here, it'll hit them all. And if I cast it here, I'll miss one basilisk. So. Alright, well, I'm pretty satisfied with the damage. Only two of them got their saving throw. Actually, that means now, rather fortuitously, assuming I've got another cone here, and I don't get interrupted, we can still try to... I'm going to target it this way. I just don't want to accidentally cone of cold um, Christina. So I'm going to aim it a little bit away from the party. Oh, that worked. That was... Perfect! I'm actually really happy. I mean, it didn't hit this guy, but it hit everybody else. That was really, really good. Okay, I... You know, I, I think I can say it. I've mostly figured out how to use Cone of Cold. It took me 20 years, but I figured it out at last. <laughs> After defeating this wave, many more moved to the attack. What do you do? I wonder if this just repeats forever. I kind of have a hunch that it might, but I'll try two. We'll do one more fight, and if I get exactly the same message, then we'll repeat. We'll retreat after it. Well, there's less this time, actually. 
Yeah, there's less. Um, wait, hold on. Before I cast a fireball, is there? Yeah, that's enough basilisk to uh to warrant one more. Same idea as last time. We don't get quite as good of a damage roll, but it's it does enough damage, so it's fine actually. And then I don't suppose I have a lightning bolt or anything. I probably don't. I've got actually I've got a lot of cone of colds, but uh, I still don't think I need to use one right now. Yeah, I'll just smack some stuff, kill them that way. Right. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the odds of the enemy using their um, gaze attacks are. It seems like they don't use it all the time, maybe one in four, one in three kind of odds. So as long as we don't leave a whole ton of them alive, we're probably okay. And we do save, like, we've passed our saving throws to not turn to stone most of the time. I, you know, the odds aren't highly in favor of the entire party getting wiped, it's just, it's possible. I get a feeling maybe this keeps going, but the last group was smaller, which was different. So if it continues to get smaller, maybe things will change. No, I, uh, this is identical. So it looks like you could just fight this same battle forever if that's what you wanted to do. That's, that's my guess now. We'll delay. So, sorry for fighting the same fight, basically, three in a row. It gets us a little bit of experience. Pixel's gonna level up, ready to go now. You know, that's, that's not bad. <laughs> Miss. Nice! Well, you didn't kill it, but, uh... Silver Shield, very nice. Just remember, like, in the first game when we were getting turned to stone, and we didn't even have the ability to learn the spell to recover from it? At least that's not the problem these days. Now we at least have the ability to, to heal through it if we get turned to stone. Alright, it definitely looks like that's just gonna go on forever. Let's get out of there. There might be a way to turn off the spawning of monsters, I don't know. Door there. The Guardians here, we're waiting for you. You are taken by surprise. Oh no. If they all cast Lightning Bolt on us, people will die. Oh, this is just cheap. Look at this. What a crock. You walk into this room and basically your party is dead. Or at least a few of them. Well, at least one, but like, I had- there's nothing I could possibly do! That is so cheap. And I'm not one to call shenanigans that often, but... And you know what? We're gonna do it now, because we're gonna be restoring everybody after this fight. So, I would like to hit- yeah... I can't hit all of the Driders without hitting Fella. Actually, I can't hit all the driders. One way or the other, one of the ones on the left or the right is going to be safe. So we'll aim it this way. We do not want it to bla uh, to delay at all. So, if I remember correctly, the math is something like... There's a certain number of segments per round. And the number of... Like, like you can delay it in a, a portion of a round even. Like, it's not like blow up at the beginning of next round or the beginning of two rounds from now it's how far into the round do you want to wait usually you're just going to type one and have it blow up right now <laughs> and look at that damage we have never seen a fireball do that much damage before because a delayed blast fireball if they do it correctly and i believe they do uh rather than 1d6 per mage level it should be 1d6 plus one so two to seven damage instead of one to six so it is you know, friggin' awesome. Ah. <sighs> um. 
That was just some money. What did we pick up? Just some gems. Okay. So, that was terrible. Let's, uh, use a fix. It didn't work. You know what? I'm gonna cheat here because that last one I consider cheating. I'm gonna go super cheat fix and restore spells. That's what I was gonna rest for and just make sure we all had our spells back. Um, basically because they cheated. <laughs> a first strike with um, a bunch of enemy spell casters that all got immediate um, lightning bolts. Like this one, I'll take that. That is, I should have tried to interrupt or damage that guy before he got a turn. That's fine, no problem there. What I will not accept is just people dying and being, well, having to use a bunch of spells and stuff just for no reason. I, I don't have to defend myself, you know what I mean. Total cheap tactic. Alright. Wasn't that hard of a fight. I'm sure we could have won that without um, healing up before the battle. I just, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, Alright, so one thing I just want to check. I, I'm not, I think because I used the gold box companion heal. Yeah, Vala, I don't believe, lost any constitution. I think we tested out earlier that if you use the in-game fix... Um, if someone does have to use Raise Dead to, to resurrect someone, they will lose that constitution permanently. Unlo the only place I've seen that avoids that is if you go back to the, uh, the dwarf guy at the temple back on the top of the caves. Nothing in there. Well, maybe. Let's have a look. Exit. Look. Okay. The room behind the illusionary wall is empty. You discover a trap door. See, using luck does something once in a while. Beneath is a valuable cache. 4,000 XP and some magic stuff. And some gems. Sure. Cool. I mean, if you'd been mapping it, you would have known. Even if you'd looked at this area map, you would have known there was something up there that uh, you needed to check out. And you might have tried from this side or whatever, but you would have known, you know. <laughs> I don't feel like that was unrealistic for me to find. All right, there's a lot of driders here. Um, we better use a fireball again. But we better use two fireballs, I'll tell you what. So, this should be fine. It won't hit all the Medusa, but I need to get the uh, Driders out of the way, so we gotta kill them first. And that looks like what we're gonna do. Okay, so now we can move over, but I've still got another spell lined up, so what I wanna do is like kill the Medusa and the Drider. I, like, I don't want to move people over too far yet, so I can still use that other fireball. That should be totally acceptable. Kind of a waste. I didn't need to, obviously, but... Uh, it ends the battle a little bit quicker. Okay. Uh, I imagine just some gems. You find a letter on one of the bodies. It says, password for today is Steel Eye. Alright, I'll try to remember. Steel Eye. Okay. Lots of rooms to explore. I want to, like, finish this northern section first, if possible. Opening the door releases the occupants from their frozen slumber. And they attack immediately. So we've got a lot of cloud giants, and again, the lightning auto-casting driders. I don't like Driders very much. How many cones? You got two cones ready to go. I move up to here and cast one. The target should be okay. Not perfect, but it hit quite a few of them. Um. I thought, 
I thought one of these guys got their turn and they were like casting or something, but it didn't look like they actually picked anything. Well, we'll just use fireballs to speed through some of this. Uh-oh. Alright, that was good. Could have been worse. They could have definitely targeted someone that would have done more, a lot more damage. Could have bounced off the wall and hit someone twice. Um... Yeah, if I don't want to hit Fella, I could go like this. This would miss a Dryder. Actually, I'd rather hit the Dryder than all the Cloud Giants. Or, um, Storm... Whatever they're called. Cloud Giants, I think. Not bad. Okay, so what have we got left? We've got some Giants, one Dryder. Okay. I don't think Val is going to be able to hit that one. You know what? I will make sure it dies. No lightning bolts for you. Sure. I have a feeling the music is getting loud again. One sec. I hope I haven't been drowning out my voice all episode long. I, uh, at the end of this episode, I will go back and check. So the next one will be better. Or, if it's bad, the next one will be better. I just, uh, messed... You got, I got messed up. It was Windows' fault. It is 31 minutes. It's about time to end the episode anyway, so... 13,000 experience. And... Bunch of money. I don't want to mess around divvying up the platinum, so let's just go. So yeah, we'll finish up this room, and then you can say we've done, like, the northern section of this uh, second floor, and that'll be reasonably... Reasonable accomplishment. The serpentine inhabitants react angrily to your entrance. So what do we get? 12-headed Hydra times 4? That's not too bad, I don't think. I don't think we need to use magic here. I don't think I've noticed these guys having like a magic breath type attack yet. It's possible they do, but... Honestly, they don't seem that dangerous. I should have moved to that square first before I attacked it, just so I have space for someone else to move along, but it didn't matter. Well, they do get a lot of attacks, I mean, I proved it right there, but um, they don't... One damage, one damage, one damage, ten damage, that wasn't too bad. Not really worth the experience. Again, a secret wall. There's lots of secret walls here, but if you're looking at the map, if you're mapping at all, you'll have an idea where to look. Uh, sure, I'll help. Well, Pyrohydras, eh, it could be worse. I don't see them using anything very fiery, to be honest. They're supposed to be one of the one of the monsters melting the ice here, I guess, but uh, I don't know how. Just chew on it. Is there anything here? Odd. Just a, a, a hidden room to nothing. Well, there's a couple little areas to see if there's a entrance way, but, uh... Oh, wait, I see a door. I, I just missed it. The guardians here were waiting for you. Oh, good. Another surprise encounter. I don't like this. Guaranteed lightning bolts. Well, the fear spell apparently isn't working on us terribly well. Alright, I don't feel too cheated by this encounter. Could have been a lot worse. Now we're getting... We're going to continue to get... We're going to continue to get lightning bolted. So I will try to interrupt them when I can. Did Sarius just cast fear on us? 
He was feared by an enemy fear spell. Did he just use one of his fear charges as well? I thought he was going to run away rather than, like, <laughs> cause more problems. Weird. Oops, hold on. Up first. Alright, I would like to interrupt some driders here. Tired of their trouble. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, Sarius is casting again. What is with that? I thought he was forced to flee. He's not, like, berserk. You know, I guess maybe when you're ambushed, there is no way to run away, because this was technically an ambush. So instead of having him with the fear effect, they just gave him, like, the berserk effect, where he's just doing whatever. Or confused or something. At least he didn't fireball the group, which, you know, he could have, I guess. Well, I'll take the gems, I guess, but exit. Okay, let me just double check here. Uh, Sirius... Magic memorize. Yeah, he casts. He casts hold monsters, and he probably cast. Um, I'm pretty sure he did have the fear spell, so I bet you he cast one of those. Interesting. I've never seen it happen like that. Honestly, I, I want to save it just in case. But yeah, that's a that's a new one on me. I've never seen someone affected by fear start casting magic. Magic like that was weird. The room beyond the illusionary wall is apparently empty. Until you search for more. A cache of gems and items is hidden behind a loose stone. That's what I was hoping for. Another longbow potion elixir. We got lots of magic loot here to double check, I guess. Maybe I should run back to town before we end the episode and have a look-see. What was it? Gem. Sure, we always need more gems, right? Alright, it feels like other than the apparently infinitely spawning um, corner here, which... Oh, we can get in from the other side too. Well, it didn't do us any good. <laughs> Alright, well we'll do this fight quick and then we'll go back to town. Seeing as we're going back to town, I can use as many fireballs as I want. And I can throw in... I could try a death spell. These are relatively low level enemies compared to a lot of the stuff we fight. Yeah, this will be fine. That's pretty acceptable. No, don't attack Pixel. Come on, Bala. Alright, let's try this death spell and see how it works. Three, four, five. Not bad, alright. Um, that could have been a lot worse. Um, I don't have a death spell ready, I just have globe and stone. Um, that was pretty good. I'll try one of these. Like, these things are easy to hit, but I get the feeling they probably have relatively low saving throws. For like, because they're like relatively low level enemies. Well, two out of three is definitely better than uh, some of our previous attempts at hold monster. All right. Oh, also, what I can do here is someone wanted me to test if magic missile would give us an auto kill on an enemy or just deal damage. So it is helpless. If magic missile counts as a normal missile, you'll just get an insta. The enemy is slaughtered. Oh, but if it just does damage, then you know it doesn't work. It just does damage. There you go. So I've proven it. Uh, maybe it's supposed to work differently in the rule set. Maybe it works differently in modern gaming. But you don't get the cruel finisher blow with Magic Missile in this game. That's that's how I remembered it. So uh, that's why I haven't been trying it out earlier. But, you know, comments someone suggested that might work. I figured I'd try. Cool. Ah, uh, let's get out of there. Alright, let's speedily... Speedily... Retreat. Should only take a minute now that I know where I'm going. I'll remember where the... Oh, I don't have to hit it again. It was like... Every time you come here, you have to hit this lever. It's kind of annoying. Oops, come on, blue. 
Trying to go fast. Gotta go fast. We're playing Sonic now. Alright. Glowing portal. Well of knowledge. Back to town. We'll get Pixel his level up. We'll identify some stuff. And then we'll end the episode. Alright. We are prepared for advancement. Pixel. You've got 101 HP. Double level up actually. Really nice. You now have Delayed Blast Fireball and 102 HP. Shouldn't even be possible to get two levels up and only get one HP. I should have probably given him one level up in one. No, because it does it automatically. Like, it would have been better if I could have done them separately because then the game would at least give him plus one each time. But yeah, the, the HP formula for this, this old game is obviously busted. It's not working properly. Um, but anyway, uh, now that Pixel is a level 14 mage, just like me, he will also have Delayed Blast Fireball, which is possibly the best spell in the Gold Box games. Perhaps. Uh, perhaps, arguably, but you gotta understand, it's pretty darn good. And then finally, let's see if we got anything useful from those magic items. Rather barren shop. So we want to appraise a couple gems, just so we can afford to identify some stuff. And that should be more than enough. We will pool, although I think Shinka has them all anyway. ID. So it's an elixir of youth. That sounds valuable. Another wand of magic stuff. Alright, well I actually think tridents are really good. Um, there's a reason for this. Um, I believe they have the same base damage as a longsword against small enemies. They are one-handed, and I believe they have higher damage to large enemies than uh, any other single-handed weapon. So I might hold on to this and give it to someone else who's got a plus three weapon instead. Uh, if anyone does. Mm, I don't know if it works for backstabs though. So we might already have, well basically everyone else has a plus uh, plus four or, or, or five weapon already, so it might not be worth it. I'm not actually sure what the Elixir of Youth is going to do. Uh, I would assume it's going to lower your age. Now, it might just remove magical aging from um, the haste spell, or I think vampires can do stuff like that. Some of the undead, high-level undead, can add ages to your characters, add years to your character's age. Speed is probably just a single-use haste. The bow is not very good. Um, no. A long bow is not as good as a composite bow, it's not as good as a fine bow, and it's only plus two, so it's not going to be that amazing. The Wand of Paralyzation, well, <laughs> you know me and wands. Look at me using them all the time, right? I'm going to sell that. I'm going to check into the Trident, actually. So let's see, the last thing, we do want our money, actually. Ah, it's a nice song. Sorry, singer person. I think we've actually gone through the entire album now, so we'll, we'll pick a new album for the next uh, the next episode. Yes, I do want my money. Share. I, I kept pressing pool. All right, let's... Uh, yeah, let's, let's switch to the manual quick. I know this episode's going a little long again, but I just want to do one last little thing and double check the tridents. I'm pretty sure we've got the charts for weapon damage in this game as well. Uh, okay, so somewhere around here should be the various weapons. Uh, spells and spells and spells. Lots of magic. Yeah, here's the weapon list. In case you're wondering, Delayed Blast Fireball, it doesn't talk about the differences between it and a normal fireball, but if you look at the guy, if, if you look at like the, the instruction books, the actual books for D&D &D rather than the game, you can see how they work a little better. So let's see, the trident, like this is the damage versus a small monster and the damage versus a large monster, and then the classes. So you can see a trident does 2 to 7 damage against a normal sized man. That's a 1d6 plus 1, which is pretty good. And a damage to a large monster, this is a 3d4. It's one handed and only fighters can use it. So it's not going to work for backstabs, I think. The only weapon that does better to large, I believe, is the, the two handed uh, the two handed sword. Uh, as far as I can tell. Ah, uh, bastard sword might be a little bit better. But the Bastard Sword counts as two hands as well. 
So as far as the single-handed weapons go, I think Tridents are actually the best weapon class in this system as far as as far as damage against enemy types. Now, obviously, against if you you want to compare it to a longsword, it's a one to eight. Two to seven is actually I consider slightly better. It's the same average damage, but because it's got a a higher minimum, I feel like you're gonna get you're gonna hit three or four damage. You're gonna hit like an average amount of damage better than getting a one on a longsword damage roll. And I do believe well, three to twelve isn't much better than one to twelve, but it's better. <laughs> it's it's they are very similar. The point is just the long the trident is I consider slightly better. Um, which makes it the best of the, the single-handed weapons. And I'm not using two-handed weapons in this game because shields are really, really, really good. Unfortunately, where does that put us? Only fighters can use it. Um, if I give it to my thief, I won't get the backstab chance. So then I have to give a thief weapon to Sarius if I want him to get his backstabs. The scimitars are thief weapons, but I, I swear I was not getting backstabs with those. Maybe I'll try that again. Broadsword is also Thief. Broadswords are similar. Um, in fact, broadswords against single target is slightly better than a longsword. But against large, they are worse. Um, straight up worse for, for large monsters. So where does that put me? Well, let me have another quick double check what weapons we've got. I mean, I could give Sirius the silver longsword, I guess. Ah, yeah, I'll just do it like this. Um, Fella's plus four longsword I will give to Sarius. And then Fella can use the um, the trident, which is technically a little worse than his weapon. Uh, but it's a change. It's kind of cool. I like I like the role-playing idea that we're not always just using swords, like long swords, all the time. What? I... Well, that solves that. Uh, I don't know which one's a bug then, because I was just looking at the manual, and the manual says tridents are single-handed weapons in this game. And I know in Pool of Radiance, they were considered single-handed, um, one-handed weapons. So you could use a trident and a shield. But apparently, that's no longer the case for this game. So, forget that. I just wasted everyone's time. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed. Um, I'll get back to our position in this castle for next episode, so we don't have to do a lot of backtracking. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.